Hi, Elaine here. Today I'll share the vital difference between embedding files and linking files and the productivity benefits it will bring you. This is the next video in our Smart Object series inside Affinity Photo. You can catch up with any videos you've missed via the playlist linked in the description. Embed is the default in Affinity Photo. Embed means insert a copy of one file into another file. To update the embedded file, you must make changes to that embedded file. The original version in your file system is completely separate. It could actually be deleted and have no impact on the embedded file. Not that I would recommend that. So let's have a look how you would set this. So if you're creating a new file with File New, in the New Document dialog, you have a range of presets. And all of these presets, if you look down at the image placement, they are set to prefer embedded. So let's go through a few of them. Uh, this one I use quite a lot, my 1280 by 720, hence it's favorited. But all of them are set to prefer embedded. If you would rather work with linked files, it's a simple matter of going to the option and choosing prefer linked, which is fine as long as you have not already created the file. But if you have, you probably have two questions. One, how do I know if originally it was set to prefer embedded or prefer linked? And secondly, how would I change that after the event? Let me show you. I have two files, so I will open up both of them. They look identical. They started life identically. The main difference and big clue, one of them has embedded in the file name and the other has linked. That's not how you tell, not unless you had the foresight to add that when you created the file. But if you go to File and down to Placement Policy, there will be a tick next to either Embedded or Linked, depending on what was selected when the file was created. So this first one is the embedded one and the tick is next to Embedded. Switching to the Linked file and File, Placement Policy, and we can see that Linked is selected. So that is one way that you can tell. There is a second way that you can tell. But the second way depends on you already having a file embedded for it to work. And that is if you go to Window, Resource Manager. Now, as you can see, going to that when you have no files nested in the current file isn't much of a help. But once you have files embedded or linked, then it becomes a way to find out if they are indeed linked or embedded. So we'll close that down and go back to the first file. What I have is a file. It is an iPhone vertical. So I'm going to drag and drop that into this first one. You can see it's one of my placeholder files. So I'm just going to put it in place. I'm going to move to the linked version and I'm going to drag and drop exactly the same file in here. And again, just position it correctly. Right, going back to that first document, which should be embedded, and going back to Window Resource Manager, and you can see it lists the placement as embedded. Switching over to the linked file, and that reports the placement to be linked, even though the file that I dragged and dropped in is the same file. It's embedded in the first simple frame, but in the second one, it's linked. And that is how you can see this with the Resource Manager. I'm going to carry on working with these two files as we move on to the next step here. And what I'm going to do is save both of these files. So this is the embedded one and I have saved that. And I'm moving to the linked one and I am saving that. And just to emphasize what you've got here, at the moment, both of these look identical. What I'm going to do is open up the file that I have just placed in both of those. While it looks like a placeholder, I already have some artwork in here. So I'm quickly going to turn on an iPhone screen there and save that file. Now you'll notice that there is a dialog box displayed indicating that something has changed. And what it's telling me is that there is a file open and it has a linked file attached to it. And that linked file has been updated. So closing the file that I've just updated and without doing anything else, you can see the file with the linked file has updated. That is the beauty of a linked file. The embedded version of this has not updated, which is also to be expected. The embedded file is a completely different file from the one in your file system. 
So that's the core difference between embedding a file and linking to a file. Now, in that example, both of those files were open at that point. What I'm going to do now is close the one with the embedded file in it. I'm also going to save this file, which is the one with the linked version in it, and close that. Now I'm going to open the linked file and make another change to it. There is a rationale for this. So this is my original podcast artwork back from 2006. It has been updated since then. But what I'm going to do with this file is save it. So what this linked file now looks like is different than the last time the file with the linked file associated with it was changed. So I'm going to open up that linked artwork again and we again get this message linked resource changed. It gives us the file name and it gives us some instructions. You will notice, though, it did not automatically update. The reason it didn't do that this time was that this file wasn't open when I made a change to the linked file. Now, what that message is telling me is I need to go to Window and I need to go down to Resource Manager and it's telling me it's linked. That's absolutely fine. But there is an update button at the bottom. And what that message was telling me was I need to click the update button. Clicking the update button and the artwork gets updated which is fantastic. But that gets old fast, doesn't it? I have literally hundreds of files with linked artwork. If I had to go through that process every time, I'd drive myself absolutely mad. A way to automatically update linked files would be a huge time saver. And we do have that option, but it's disabled by default. I know, what were they thinking with that one? So remember that this has the dark artwork on it and I'm saving the file and closing it. I'm going up to Affinity Photo 2. I'm going down to Settings and in the General section under Document, there is an option to automatically update linked resources when they are modified externally. As I say, it's off by default, but it's a simple matter of putting a tick in a box and then closing that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is open up the linked file with the old artwork in it. What I do have here is the new artwork. So that's the new artwork. I'm going to save that file and close it. I'll open up that file that was linked to it and you can see there is no messages. Everything just gets updated automatically. Now, obviously, so far, these have been demo files. I'll show you some real files of mine now. So I have here three files of artwork with the old branding on them. The artwork in all three files is linking to one single file. And this is what that looks like. I'm going to close down all three of the files and leave just the linked one. I will change the old artwork to the new artwork and save that file. And then I will open up those three files again. And you'll see there's no notifications, no indications. So as far as I'm concerned, when I'm working with these files, as long as the linked file has been updated, I don't have to give it a second thought anymore. And that's the power of a linked file. Now, when it comes to editing a linked file, you are able to do this in two different ways. You've already seen that I can edit the linked file by opening it and editing it directly. But I can also edit it inside a file that is hosting it. So if I were to open this, instead of it opening an embedded version, it isn't. So let's switch that back to the old artwork and again, just save that. Now it's telling me I have linked resource changes. So I'm going to close that. But you can see it's updated all of the others without me doing a thing. And the other way of doing that is to open the branding, make a change to it. So this is the direct version. Save that file and close it. And again, all the artwork is updated. So two ways to do that. Now, one of the dangers of working with linked files is losing the link to them. That could happen because the file has been moved or it could happen because the file has been renamed. Now, what happens if you move a linked file or you rename it? Well, let's have a look what we've got here. We have three branded images and a MacBytes branding that is linked to all three of them. 
So if we open that one and change it to the old branding and save the file, and then opening these, you will see that change we made is reflected in them. But what happens if this file gets moved or renamed? So I'm going to move it into this folder called linked files. Just for good measure, I will go in there and I will edit that because obviously I want the new branding and save the file. Going back to the finder and here's my three images and opening those. And each one is going to give me this message, which is saying there's a missing resource. So obviously I need to link this back to the file. So do I want to deal with this? Yes, I do. And I know that I put it in here. Now, if you've moved it or renamed it, and you don't know where it is. That's a bit trickier. Obviously, I've just put this in a folder and then I'm going to click open, open and open. And that will deal with all three files at the same time. So there's the third one. There's the second one. And there's the first one. And that is how you relink a linked file. Now, there was another option there. So I'm going to save these files, get them out of the way, just leave myself with one in here to show you that in window resource manager, at the moment, this is absolutely fine. It's linked and it knows where it is and everything is fine with it. But you do get an opportunity in here if there is a problem to deal with it using the resource manager. And the best way to show that is to close that file and we'll save it. And I'm going to move my file again. So I'll move it from linked files back into the main folder. And I will open just one of these. So I'll open this one. So do you want to deal with it? I'm going to say no at that point. Uh, I could have said resource manager, but my resource manager is already open and you can see it has a status of missing. And I have an option to replace it with something completely different, which you might want to do, but more likely you want to relink it. So I'm going to hit the relink option and I'm going to go up a level and I'm going to find the image and tell it that it's in that folder. And now it has a status of OK. The placement is linked. Everything is working again, which takes us on to the last issue you may have. For this example, I'm going back to that simple embed that we had. So this file is embedded in here, double clicking. The thumbnail drills us down and we can change our artwork. Saving that, it's embedded. But what if I didn't want this to be embedded? What if I wanted to link to it? Because now I have a range of master files and they all need to link to an externally linked file. Well, that's a job for the resource manager. So back to the resource manager. Its placement is embedded at the moment, but you have an option to make it linked. So I'm going to click on make linked. You then get to decide where you're saving it. And I actually have a dedicated folder for this, which is the one with the embedded file in it. So I want the file and it's soon to be linked file to be in the same folder and click link. It's now changed that to linked and I can close that and just save the file. If I want to make any changes to that file, now I have my two options. I can either do it directly from in here, which will edit the external file, the linked file. Alternatively, I could manually open the file that is linked to and make changes directly there. One difference with this is if I were to do it internally in here and make a change to it, if this were embedded, it would not prompt me to save it. But because it's linked, it is prompting me to save it and it updates. You can also go the other way if that's what you need. So if you have linked to external files and now you want them embedded, it's a very similar process. Window resource manager. This reports that it's linked. All you need to do is to hit the embed button. And yes, that was the one that previously said linked. And now it's embedded. The thing to remember if you're going that way is now making changes to the external file will not update this file. So if I were to open that file that formerly we had linked and I made a change to it and I saved it, it would not update in this file. I must edit the embedded copy inside this file for this to update. 
And you'll notice it didn't prompt me to save it because it's going to be saved when the holding file is saved. So if you need to update your content and it's in an embedded file, you must make changes to that embedded file. Any changes you make to the original file will have no impact whatsoever. Alternatively, if your content is linked, you are able to update that linked file from within your holding file or alternatively directly in your file system. Now, there are pros and cons of both of these ways of working. With an embedded file, you know where your files are. One file is nested inside the other and they are saved together. That saves time relinking. The disadvantages of that are that the files are larger because they're not one single file. It's one single file and then however many embedded files you have. And high quality files can mean that your files get very big very fast. If you're using linked files, you will have a smaller file size for your holding file. It also facilitates collaborative work. All my files are hosted on a cloud service, so other people could make changes to my linked files and all my artwork would update automatically, which is great for collaborative working. Now, if you take the default approach where you have to confirm updates, that gives you an option for those updates to be optional. You don't have to update them straight away. I much prefer to turn on automatic updates. If I've updated a file externally, I want it to update in all of my branded artwork. The downside of linking files is obviously it's much easier to lose the connection between your holding file and your linked files. Generally, that's going to happen in two ways. I guess three but I, I'm trusting you not to do number three. But number one would be you've moved a file. Number two would be you've renamed it. And the third catastrophic reason might be that you've actually deleted the file. Don't do that. And there you have it. Let's have a quick recap. You get to choose between embedded files or linked files when you create new files in the new document dialog box. You can check the current placement via File Placement and then prefer embedded or prefer linked. When you have an existing file embedded or linked, you're able to also, as an alternative, use the resource manager to find out the status of those files. You can manually update linked files via the resource manager, and there is an option in the settings to automatically update linked files if you prefer to work that way. You can edit linked files in two ways. First, from inside the file containing them, and you'll be prompted to save your changes, or you can edit them externally directly. We then covered how to deal with missing linked files. And finally, I shared how to switch between embedded files and linked files. If you want new tutorials and tips and tricks on a regular basis, check out my free training at elainegiles.com VIP. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss future tutorials. And if you have any requests for specific tutorials, be sure to contact me. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and see you next time. <laughs>